cool. So for those that know me, I'm Helena Gaifua from Simply You magazine. And of course, today we are having the SYM Presenters Workshop. So the workshop is basically for everybody who's aspiring presenters for TV, radio, or just on stage, or anybody that just basically wants to boost their confidence in public speaking. So we have um, multi-stage um, presenters like Josie Nipandwa. We have NBC producers that are also here, and then of course myself. So basically, we're just talking about what it takes to be a good presenter, the etiquette, the authenticity that you need to have within yourself to be a great presenter. So yeah. So there's team. always a need for fresh voice, fresh opinion, fresh sound. Fresh voice, fresh opinion, fresh sound. And of course, it's amazing to know that so many young people out there want to follow in the footsteps. And of course, uh, Mr. Bali, you have laid the foundation for us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, very, very excited. And then always breathe through your diaphragm, not your stomach. Project, uh, project your voice in such a way that you are well understood. So it is very important for you to, when you are in, in studio, for example, I've, I've seen that when I sit with my leg, because nobody can see me, especially in the morning shows, if I sit with my leg in a certain way or whatever, how I speak, it, it doesn't come out properly. So you know, because I need to, I can't breathe from it. Yeah, I need to breathe from My words need to be able to carry it enough. Okay, and people can really hear it. When people are on radio, people can hear it. I promise you, people have come out to say, and are you okay? Like, have you not visited the bathroom for some time? What's wrong? <laughs> Sometimes it, you you might sound like they say that you have not gone to the bathroom because you sound like stiff. So breathe from here and let that carry your words. She said they love it, they love the platform, they love the opportunities. A lot of them have asked us to do more of these uh, type of workshops. Um, the hunger is there for young people to do better. Uh, we touched on um, radio also, what it takes to be a good radio presenter, the type of knowledge that you need to know. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're living in a world now where social media is so fast, you know. And as a radio presenter, how can I compete with that? So those are some of the topics that we're looking at. And they're getting it. And they're very excited and so many people came through and they're like hey can we do more of these workshops and we're definitely gonna come through with so much more you, you confidently correct yourself and when she said that an applause and she corrected herself and moved on so you correct yourself confidently and you don't freeze because put it in your mind that they are inevitable you just try not to make them and when you do calmly just say i think when, when i first pronounce them with my apologies and then the right name Sharing knowledge doesn't take away knowledge. You can never lose anything by sharing knowledge, ever. Last interesting question. Yes. Where is your mask? Ah, I'm talking to you right now. So I have to take it off so that you can understand me. But I have my mask, don't worry. It's so common sense. Everything, I have it. It's common, common sense. sense. Common sense weather. <laughs>